Good evening. Welcome to Telford Icing for tonight's ice hockey action. Last night, the Telford Tigers travelled to Swindon, where they lost 4-0. It was all about Stevie Lyle saving some 51 shots against the Telford Tigers last night. So, Tigers with something to prove take on the Steel Dogs tonight without Andre Priet. Let's take a look at tonight's action. So, tough game in Swindon last night. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a really organised team and, uh, I mean, we didn't uh, really capitalise on many chances, so it was... It was a tough game, and it's always going to be tough when you travel, so it's, um, it's a big night for us tonight uh, to bounce back after that effort. Looking at the shots on goal as well, it wasn't for the one to try. And Lyle looked like he stood on his head. Uh, we got a lot of shots on him, uh, not too many secondary opportunities, which is which we want to prove on tonight. He's a good netminder, you need to get traffic, you need to get bodies to the net, and uh, we didn't do a good job of that last night. Hoping to rectify that tonight and then get two points. So against Sheffield tonight, always a very physical team. Yeah, uh, they're going to come hard. They always come hard. Um, they work really hard. That's their their MO. So we got to match that effort and, and succeed that tonight and, and to be able to get out of here with the two points. Welcome to Telford Ice for tonight's ice hockey action. The Telford Tigers take on the Sheffield Steel Dogs. After losing 4-0 to Swindon last night, they really have something to prove. As the pucks drop, Telford win it and goes back to their own defensive end. That's a goal for the Telford Tigers as they drive over the line, make the shot and put the first goal past the netminder at 1 minute 27 seconds. Cahorn delays to Hurst, steps up, misfires the puck. Picked up by Jonathan Weaver, skates out hard, puts it onto the right side. Peter Zabo back to Weaver, give and go and shoots and scores! That's a great 1-2 from Zabo and Weaver as they cross the blue line and drive in. And Zabo puts it in the left-hand side of the net. Squires looks for the long pass picked out of the air by Weaver. Through to Silverthorne on the left wing. Great passing from the Tigers tonight. Tries to find Salem, McKenzie. On the back slot, makes the shot and just misses the target. Netminder loses his stick. One of his players pushes it back to him. He's trying to pick it up while Mackenzie and Silverthorne battle for the puck at the behind the net. Up to the point, Zajac. Off the draw, Weaver. Silverthorne. Through to Mackenzie on the backhand. And that's a goal from Scott Mackenzie. Skates through the front, puts it under the netminder. And goal number three scored by Scott Mackenzie with a pass from Jason Silverthorne. Weaver. Zaja. Big first time shot from Zabo. Straight into the netminder. The puck drops down. There's a collection of sticks from League and Miller trying to get to the stick. But now... It's Squires on the break with League heading for the back post. He passes it onto him. He shoots and scores. That's a short-handed breakaway goal for the Sheffield Steel Dog. Thank you to the following companies. Hexagon Metrology based in Halesfield. Shot from the point. Miller now picks up the point in the halfway line. Gives it to Silverthorne. He carries it over the blue line. Silver. Oh, that's a great shot! I thought that was going to be a pass to Zabo. He has a look and puts it just inside the right-hand post for goal number four for the Telford Tigers from Jason Silverthorne from a pass from Joe Miller. Danny Rose covers well. Pass comes across, but Maynard prevents him from doing anything with it. Sheffield in the corner. Dan Scott putting the pressure on. Into the high slot for Cahorn. Cahorn round to Hurst at the back of the net. And as we come to the end of the first period, it's the Telford Tigers four, Sheffield Steel Dogs one. So as we line up for period two, it's the Telford Tigers four, Sheffield Steel Dogs one. Duncombe intercepts, gives it to League. He drives the right wing, shoots through the legs of Andre. Stick save from Sam Gospel. He's on form so far tonight. Maynard to Mackenzie to Salem. Mackenzie drives to the net. Salem gets a stick check. He goes right over the top. There's a jump for the puck. Andre's locked because they shut the gate. And if Dan Scott had touched the puck, technically they've been on too many men. Salem comes up. Squires holds his pad and it's a goal. The netminder had lost his stick while the defenseman was trying to pass his stick back to the netminder. Telford shoot and score for goal number five. Off the draw, walking. Miller gets a high stick. The arm's gone up, but if it, 
This could be a major penalty. Sheffield's number eight receives a penalty for high sticks, time at 24 minutes and 53 seconds. Zabo, Weaver. Silverthorne. There's a call for tripping, but the stick went across. Silverthorne, both feet were together, and yeah, I suppose he fell over. But I don't think it was a deliberate effort from the Sheffield player, and it would seem that the referee thinks so also. Miller cuts in, fakes, drives in front. That was a great pull through from Miller. Great hands to dink the defenceman to drive his way through to the net. Puck comes across. Calvert. Haywood. Scott makes plays the body. Andre. Scott. Banked off the boards from Silverthorne. Picked up by Zabo. Works in and puts it in the centre top shelf. The netminder comes across the goal with Zabo and he fires it right into the centre top shelf for the sixth goal of the night for the Telford Tigers. Zajac, Squires. Squires skates in. Zajac plays the body into the boards. He still skates through. Good work rate from Squires, to be fair. Battling to get the puck in front. Davis! Now Squires puts it up and it was from the glove of Squires into the net. So that'll go from the glove of Dan Davis into the net from Tom Squires. Bennett gets the puck on the halfway line, skates in, feeds it through to Morgan. He's in the offside position. Plant has to bring it back. Andre banks it off the boards. Davis is there, tips it in. Bennett skates in after the puck. Takes a massive hit from Morgan. It wasn't the biggest of hits, but as Bennett was skating hard forward, it was enough to take him off his balance and send him careering into the boards. But Owen just gets back and carries on skating. Good hit from Morgan, though. Up to Zajac. Sheffield putting the pressure on. Zajac back to Weaver. Weaver has a look. He's got no passing options open to him until he gives it to Dan Davis on the blue line. Long pass forward to Salem at the end of the second period. Telford Tigers, six. Sheffield Steel Dogs, two. Of which one was scored by Dan Davis. So some additional assists have been awarded to players on both teams as we start period three. With Telford Tigers, a four-goal cushion as they start the period 6-2. Zajac pulls inside. Smith holds him up on the blue line. Gets the pass through to Calvert. Has a look around, got nowhere to go. Save, rebound comes out to Gibson. Second shot comes in and it was a pad save from Sam Gospel. A couple of good saves in quick succession. Mackenzie drives to the back of the net. Goes to pick up the puck, tries to tip it in front. Plants moving in towards the net. Gets a pass, shoots wide to the right. That was a good play from Scott McKenzie. Battling to free the puck up to get it through to Ricky Plant in the front. And he's on the back post, and this one counts. Mackenzie across, was Bennett on that, but it was Plant that put it in from the back door. And I think the initial pass came from Scott McKenzie. Miller shoots wide to the right. Zabo around the back of the net. Silverthorne's in front. Miller, beautiful twist and turn, shoots to Zabo and fires it in the back of the net. That's a beautiful play. Joe Miller switching sides, faking on the D-man, turns around, passes it across, and Zabo does the business and fires it home in the back of the net for the eighth goal for the Tigers. OK, so Bennett's going to go with Patterson. In. These two haven't gone since last time they played. So the lineup swinging inside now. These two have been scrapping since they were both in the air now. Patterson gets a grip, throws a right over. Patterson gets a couple in. Bennett gets two or three headshots in there as he comes over. Patterson gets his shirt over, fires a couple more in. I think that one's Patterson's on points. But the two of them, two of them doing the lapper of honour. Calvert. Swings around. And as Weaver breaks out, we come to the end of the game with the Telford Tigers eight, Sheffield Steel Dogs two. I think uh, the mentality going into our, into the first period this evening was we come out really hard. Uh, a little point to prove uh, last night. We were disappointed with our performance. Uh, come out the way we did was excellent. Tonight's game pretty much sealed within the first sort of 10, 15 minutes. It's difficult to keep players 
sort of momentum going when you go several goals up in a short space of time? I think if you look at our first period, we won a lot of face-offs, which meant we had a lot of puck possession. Uh, it is difficult because uh, naturally you know where you are in the game. Um, people maybe try and do a little bit too much, but I think the face-offs was the, was the main key where the first we won a lot of face-offs and the third period we didn't win as many, so it meant we weren't on the puck as much. And it was interesting, as we spoke to you at the end of last week about Bracknell, a bit of reality check, and then going to Swindon and experiencing that loss. From a coach's point of view, does that keep the team's feet on the ground? I think so. Uh, you know, going into Swindon, I, d I don't know why at the minute. It's it's one of those places that I think every team experiences one team that they, that they struggle against. And uh, we, we put a lot of pucks to the net. We have 51 shots, but it's just our, we weren't as clinical. Um, we didn't have the speed through the neutral zone that we played with today, and uh, I think that's that's really important for this team. We like to play quickly north south, and uh, we 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 didn't have the speed through the neutral zone, which meant we didn't have good entry into the end zone, and uh, some of our play around from our cycles wasn't great. So, move forward 24 hours. It's a big, big difference. It's a big change. There's a lot of focus. We had a, a lot of meetings with the with the players as well today, um, and responded excellently. Fantastic. And as we look forward to next week's home game, it's going to be Basingstoke making the trip here. Yeah, uh, big game, big weekend. Uh, MK, I think, Saturday and then Basingstoke on Sunday. So it'll be interesting to see uh, see those teams up here, or certainly Basingstoke up here. A marked improvement there from Tom Watkins' men against the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Next week, it's away to Milton Keynes on Saturday. Sunday, Basingstoke travel to Telford Ice Rink.